hey everyone welcome back to my channel gentle cafe so today we are going to discuss about the over retained deciduous teeth what is the phase of over retained deciduous teeth complications related to over retained deciduous teeth and its treatment okay then let's begin the video over retained deciduous teeth is a very common condition which leads to a malocclusion or improper formation of permanent teeth first of all what is over retained deciduous teeth over retained deciduous or primary teeth is a dental condition in which one or a more of a child primary teeth do not come out at the expected time to allow permanent tooth to erupt try to understand this with a video as you can see in the video in lower arch we have a retained deciduous teeth that do not exfoliate once the permanent tooth erupts as you can see behind the deciduous we have a permanent central incisors but uh, anteriorly uh, we have a deciduous tooth that are not exfoliate on time as we all know uh, milk teeth start coming around the 6 to 8 month in a child and all the 20 milk teeth are fully grown by the age of three and how deciduous tooth exfoliate it is exfoliated by the permanent dentition once the permanent dentition start to form behind the deciduous tooth they push the baby teeth out by causing the resorption of the root as you can see in the image we have a deciduous tooth in the front and behind the deciduous tooth we have a permanent central incisors but the permanent incisors are not in their place because deciduous tooth is already present in their position they are not not exfoliating so this is we call over retained deciduous or a primary teeth in which primary teeth do not come out at the expected time what are the causes or reason for over retention of deciduous teeth so first one is the absence of an underlying permanent tooth and this is a most common reason for delayed exfoliation of primary tooth because permanent tooth usually breaks down the root of the primary teeth and pushes the baby teeth to fall out but without that pressure the primary tooth often remain in place that is why this is very common reason for retention of deciduous tooth and the most common retained deciduous dentition is upper and the lower second premolar followed by the upper and the lower lateral incisors and some other causes for over retained primary teeth is ankylosis if primary teeth become fused to the bone and it will prevent it from the falling out second incomplete resorption of root if the root resorption is incomplete in primary dentition it will obstruct the permanent tooth eruption then third one is the misalignment of permanent tooth if the permanent tooth is coming uh, or erupting in an improper angle or a position the, or it will stuck under the jawbone then there may be not enough pressure to push the primary tooth out then the fourth one is the trauma or injury to the tooth root or a nerve which will also delay the formation of the permanent tooth and result in retained deciduous dentition then uh, poor oral hygiene which can also result in damage to the permanent tooth before they erupt and may causes the resorption in the jaw and the baby teeth will remain in the position so always maintain the oral hygiene keep the deciduous tooth clean what are the treatment option for over retained deciduous primary teeth we have a two treatment option of retained baby teeth first one is go for surgical extraction or second one is orthodontic treatment surgical extraction is very common of the deciduous tooth because their root resorption is almost more more uh, more than half of the root resorption will already occur again which treatment option you have to choose is depends upon whether the tooth is causing any problem or not if 
it is well aligned and maintain your mouth bone and the tissue structure then there is no need to go for orthodontic treatment or extraction we'll do only extraction if we require a space closure a space closure in cases of crowding if there is a more crowding in the uh, patient mouth and you have noticed that the deciduous tooth is also present then you need to remove the deciduous tooth so that the permanent tooth come in their position or go for the ortho treatment after extraction and second one is the replacement replacement is what when the replacement of the baby tooth is necessary complete root resorption is occur and there is somewhat grade to a grade three mobility then you need to be remove the deciduous tooth so this is a surgical extraction of deciduous tooth because as you can see there is a crowding in the anterior region because the permanent dentition is completely erupt in the anterior region and be, and anterior to the permanent dentition we have a deciduous dentition in the deciduous dentition we have a grade 2 mobility and on IOPR it is clear that the complete root resorption is occur so the tooth is weak so we will remove the or extract the deciduous dentition so that the permanent dentition will come in their position I hope now it is clear for you when to go for extraction and when to go for orthodontic treatment in case of retained deciduous dentition. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest video.